Oh. Hello, guys. My name is. This is. Man, do not hold your token of esteem. I'm gonna burn this sucker. What's happening, guys? Beastie here, and today I have got the best video to ever grace YouTube. Like, literally, this is the. You guys, what's happening? And welcome back to the channel. And today I am. What's happening, guys? My name is Beastie, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be checking out a. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And today, now here's the thing. Uh, this channel is dead. And today we're going to be talking about Beastie. So, on his reaction channel, he hasn't uploaded in over a year, and that's the same with his More Beastie channel. Um, his last upload on YouTube in general was on his gaming channel, and that was about two or three months ago at this point. The YouTuber Beastie was one of my most favorite YouTubers to watch while growing up. And to be honest, I was not really an ordinary kid while growing up. I watched really strange YouTubers back in the day. Yeah, even Cyberwolf. I watched a lot of Beastie in the back of the day as well. Well, he was my main part of my childhood anyway. And had his, a pretty large devoted community that liked his humor and rather harsh roast in his videos. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! Okay! <laughs> We've got a really strange video here. This guy is very, very creepy. I get a pedophile Jesus vibe with this Christ. guy. But how did this YouTuber amass three large and successful channels and then go full on MIA? Did he quit? Did he go on the run? Will he ever come back? Or did he just simply disappear? Beastie and his family grew up in a small town in Kentucky called Owensboro, and the family was Beastie, his two brothers, his one sister, and the parents. Beastie and the three other siblings would play and just mess around for the five years of their childhood in their backyard, as they had a large property on the countryside. The brothers would just mess around outside and check out movies from the library on a VHS. And this is gonna be relevant to today's video because it gives some insight on what Beastie's childhood was like considering he was very conservative of what his past life was like. So the movies they would generally rent out were Disney movies and one in particular was called Swiss Family Robinson. This movie inspired the two Beastie and its West to come up with the idea to make a tiger trap which was a very deep hole obviously so the tiger can't get out and they would make it so they would trick their sister who they did not invite over to play a lot and actually kind of just exclude her to fall into it what fantastic brothers five years later the family would move into the city of lexington as their father had a better job opportunity they moved into a two-bedroom apartment let that sink in a family of six moving into a two-bedroom apartment there was probably lots of arguments on who's gonna sleep where all through high school bc would be made fun of and money was also tight at home. The thing, I never was allowed to play video games until I was able to buy my first ever Xbox 360 in my senior year of high school, I think. And got his first Xbox 360 with his own money. Beastie would publish his first video in the year of 2013 on October 29th, which was a Battlefield 3 video. Hey guys, how's it going? This is the, with video 2 of my release day gameplay of Battlefield 4, and I am going to go ahead and play Assault for this round. I'm so cringy! A little backstory on this, okay? This was my first video ever. I was recording on an iPad. On, a, I, on an iPad's camera. Yes, let that sink in. Beastie would go on for about a year posting the style of video until he moved on. For the next three years, Beastie would be trying different styles of content, such as fucking how to basic kind of content. Box. And the idea was golf, <laughs> but with fire. <sighs> you can probably see the inspiration from how to basics, you know? I got that off of him, by the way. <sighs> Why am I reacting to them? Yeah, I destroyed my yard. <laughs> but in early 2015, Beastie would create his first channel. 
beastie. But then he would still kind of do eh content, which was Call of Duty Cut Comms. A uh, thing very much into the past, even in that timeline. For context's sake, Call of Duty Cut Comms was an old video style back in the day where someone would boot up Call of Duty, hook up their mic, their recording software, or their camera on their TV, and just talk about whatever while playing the game. And that's what Beastie did for a while, still trying to find his footing. During the same year, reaction videos would begin to rise into popularity. And with that, Beastie would begin making reaction videos that would do decently well until he released one video that began to shape the rest of his future. He would upload a video of him reacting to Battlefield 1 and garnering over 600,000 views in the span of a week. This would then bring his channel to 50,000 subscribers. Beastie would then venture further into the style of video and also making roast style reaction videos or commentary reaction. Daddy's got some campus oven fresh hot delicious pizza in his tummy. Oh, oh that was so painfully cringy, the intro. Oh. Why are you calling yourself daddy? And these videos brought a large amount of views and he saw the success of both video styles and decided to make another channel by the name of Beast Reacts to double his profit. That would show massive success having the channel growing up to 1 million subscribers in the span of two years. Ignore that voice crack, as while this was happening, Beast's main channel would also see some massive growth, garnering 500,000 subscribers from his entertaining commentary videos. This is all thanks to his standout and rather dark humor and jokes he made in the videos. He even had a decently sized gaming channel he would run in the background. All of these channels would begin to do well up until YouTube's adpocalypse. During early 2017, Wall Street Journal had made an article about PewDiePie's video that featured him promoting anti-Semitic messages. As messed up as it was, it was obviously a joke. But YouTube being YouTube, they give the advertisers more power over what they can play their ads over and what not to play over, and creating a tighter rule system about extreme content. This would affect Beastie in many parts of his lifetime on YouTube, in 2017 making YouTube not his full-time job anymore game ever is youtube your job well speak of the devil okay so youtube was my job until the ad crisis i have three channels all doing well and i can't even pay the bills right now i, I have one month covered of of youtube being broken if it doesn't work but his gaming channel and reaction channel at the time would still go pretty strong but in mid-2018, Beastie would come back to the main channel and begin uploading his style of content again, even though YouTube's landscape for calling a content like that was completely different. One video he posted, though, changed everything the channel stood for. He would post a video titled, Just a Psycho Woman and Her Slave. The best way I can describe this video is, um, uh, Leaf Young Crack. He's posting parties. Whoa, 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 time out! What is a fetish party? To me, that sounds like a fancy way of saying orgy. Oh God, when I hear a fetish party, the images that pop into my head, oh God. Room full of butt naked, sweaty, hairy men, giving it to each other, maybe giving it to an elephant. What the fuck did I just hear? Yeah, a bit crazy, but not on the level of completely being demonetized on YouTube or having the channel completely demonetized. But unfortunately, YouTube did that and he had to switch his content. One, that's why. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this channel is dead. Basically, I can't upload here because I can't earn money and it's a waste of my time. Now, YouTube decided that roasting content shouldn't make money. They hate roasting content. So they haven't paid me for almost all the videos I've made on my channel. At one point, I was earning money, but then they kind of said, suck a dick and they stopped monetizing almost all of the videos on my channel so that's what happened and that's why i stopped uploading but after that he tried making a transition of content into gambling but it didn't stick around and he just left the channel for good during his time on youtube he would frequently move and this would become a stable joke on the vc channel for his core audience but this would affect his reaction channel a lot. 
Throughout all of 2019, he would only post 9 videos halfway through the year, and only another 4 until completely abandoning the channel. Now this leads to one channel left, the gaming channel. On February 1st, 2020, Beastie would return with a follow-up video. Hi! <laughs> Remember me? Uh, yeah, I, I know, I, I know. <clears throat> I have this problem where I will be consistent on YouTube, uploading videos, really nailing, you know, day after day, daily uploads, not skipping a, a single day, and then <whistles> gone, just, just like that, just gone. This time though, I have a legitimate excuse. Before, I was uploading consistently, and then I disappeared, I didn't make a video, I didn't make a post, I didn't say anything on social media. And he said that he moved from Florida back to Texas, and it took a, while, a whole other month to set up everything. Now he would stay in this place, posting consistently, doing Let's Plays until he stopped on August 10th and disappeared for another six months. His audience began to lose hope of, lo of him returning and speculation videos began to pop up discussing if he had quit. And obviously the answer was no. He was even featured on one of his friend's channels, Dana Games, and people in his comments would be asking Beastie and he would clarify, he's doing fine, he's just lazy. And many months later, Beastie would finally return with a community post saying he's ready to return in a couple of days. And a couple of days later, he posted an update video talking about how he moved again. Yeah, again. And he also had an experience of almost dying. Why, hello there guys, remember me? In case you have forgotten, I was that guy that would occasionally upload content to YouTube and uh, when you clicked on one of my videos, you would instantaneously go deaf. Yeah, yeah, that guy. I was actually moving before I moved though. By the way, this is my new setup. It's actually my own house. I bought my first house. Honestly, it was probably a mistake, but either way, before I moved, I nearly ended up dying. Here's a picture on screen somewhere of me in the ICU. I was 20 minutes away from being dead, and uh, that was a, a whole experience and ordeal, but uh, either way, that was fun and exciting. Then he would post for another few months until December 9th. He posted his final video and completely disappeared for good. Now, after all of this, only one question remains. Where has Beastie gone? Well, in short, I don't know. All of his social medias have been inactive for a few years now, but Beastie on the other hand, I only have a few theories I thought of while making this video, and hopefully by me providing them, I'll give some ideas or maybe some clarity of where he might be. First theory is that he finally started his own business. Throughout the history of his videos, he would always talk about running his own business. You may be like, well, just upload anyway, but as a YouTuber that has two other channels and now I'm trying to create my own business I'm alone back here. Oh, hello? Anyone in here? Nope. Thank God. This is an office that I'm creating for a business of mine. It's currently kind of empty. You know, I mean, there's that red chair. If you guys remember that, my back. And he most likely was getting this business up and running in the background while he was still posting and stopped after he might have been doing well or he wanted to do it full time. He just got bored. During all the breaks, I noticed a pattern in that they got longer and longer because he was getting bored, perhaps, from the style of content he was making. And honestly, thanks to YouTube's tighter rules limiting what you can do and say, and becoming more, he had to become more PG. I mean, just look at how energetic he was in the past with his roast videos when he had not that many limits to his gaming channel. <laughs> Ah, nothing better than cookie and go out. Told me it was going to be short, but I didn't realize it was going to be so much shorter than the first game. Another thing I would like to know is that he had three other channels making lots of money, and he lost a lot of his income from YouTube by not uploading on his main channel and reaction channel. So only having one channel left that, mon that is monetized and is making way less money would definitely make you uninterested po posting now i've heard many other theories such as he's died or he's been locked out of his youtube account or something something crazy i also heard was he's being hunted by the fbi i don't believe any of that shit to be honest i think my two theories i presented are very plausible as they have some sort of sense behind them and proof so yeah, that's today's video guys i hope you guys enjoy it it was very different compared to the kind of content i do if you did like it hit subscribe because i'm trying to hit 2k by the end of the month and check out the gaming channel i'm trying to get that to 100 by the end of the year outside of that i might do another follow-up video in this kind of style or in the new series called missing file cases i had a lot of fun making this 
And yeah, let me know if there's any other YouTubers you also want me to do a video on kind of like this. See ya.